Bob Diamond, the former chief executive of Barclays, who left the bank in the aftermath of the LIBOR fixing scandal, is to return to banking. According to unnamed sources cited by Reuters, Diamond will list a shell company in London, Atlas Mara, within 10 to 15 days to invest in the African financial sector. Sources added that Atlas Mara is a cash vehicle set up with billionaire entrepreneur Ashish Shakar, chief executive of Mara Group. While Citigroup is tipping to be advising on the deal, Atlas Merchant Capital, the merchant bank Diamond has set up in New York, will manage the group with a view to expand into sub-Sahara African banks and financial services. The Financial Times said at the weekend that Diamond and Thakar have approached investors with the aim of raising £250 million. The Financial Times said at the weekend that Diamond and Thakar have approached investors with the aim of raising $250 million. In June 2012, Barclays paid US and UK authorities £290 million for its role in manipulating LIBOR. The bank then lost a number of its high-profile senior bankers, including Diamond, Chairman Mark Agius and Chief Operating Officer Jerry Delmissier. Barclays avoided a 690 million euro fine from the European Commission for blowing the whistle on its LIBOR fixing cartel with three other major banks less than a week ago. Meanwhile, Diamond could be in court in April after Guardian Care Homes asked the former Barclays CEO to give evidence regarding LIBOR fixing, since it's suing his former employer for mis-selling an interest rate hedging product tied to the benchmark lending rate. The